The budget battle continues between Labor and the Coalition. Today, senior Labor figures popped up in almost every state and territory to attack the spending cuts Tony Abbott outlined in his budget reply. Joining us now with the latest details from Canberra is Leah Craven. Leah, some may argue it looked like a highly stage-managed affair. Absolutely. There were Labor ministers out and about all over today and they were trying to get another day's mileage out of Tony Abbott's um, budget reply speech where he outlined his plans for superannuation. They were also out today seizing on the admission of one of Tony Abbott's um, colleagues, the West Australian MP Michael Keenan, who said that if you're going to have a wide-ranging tax review, why not look at the GST while you're at it? So the theme today for these Labor ministers was the cost of living would be higher under Tony Abbott but the exact same phrase that the coalition uses when it talks about Labor's carbon tax, but we may as well get used to it. It is an election year after all. We ready to roll? Across the nation, Labor ministers fan out. How are we going? In a coordinated media blitz. Thanks for your patience, gentlemen. Attacking Tony Abbott's yeah, plan to save billions of dollars by delaying a scheduled rise in superannuation contributions. Hands off our superannuation. It's not yours. It's the people's. Mr Abbott has described superannuation as a con job. He doesn't support it. It's that cutting to the bone that shows that Tony Abbott just doesn't get working families. The Labor Party will do anything to create a desperate scare campaign because they are desperate. Labor ministers also continued to ramp up fear on another back pocket election issue, the GST, saying Tony Abbott's right, tax so white so paper is code for tax really hike. We know what the Liberal Party wants. They've always wanted to increase the rate of the GST and to broaden its base. Being lectured by Julia Gillard about uh, budget honesty is like listening to Hannibal Lecter telling you he's become a vegetarian. We have absolutely no plans to change the GST. This morning, his colleague Michael Keenan, a West Australian MP, did concede it would be odd not to at least look at the GST in the Coalition's proposed tax review, but dismissed Labor's attacks. We're going to see a lot of hysterical claims from the Labor Party in the lead-up to polling day. And if Tony Abbott does win the September election, he may be sending us back to the polls not long after for a double dissolution election if Labor and the Greens block legislation to repeal the carbon tax. Now, there's been another interesting political development today. There are reports that the former Labor Party president, Warren Mundine, would be open to accepting a high-powered um, job with Tony Abbott in an Indigenous affairs role if Tony Abbott were to become Prime Minister. He said the issue of Indigenous politics is way bigger than the day-to-day -day partisan politics, and we know that Mr Mundine hasn't been happy with the Labor Party. He quit Labor last year. Leah, thank you.